Hey folks, welcome to Fireflies Follies. I hope that you enjoy the video today. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. So today I am going to be canning some lemonade concentrates. I like to have them on the shelf. It's super easy when I have company to just grab one, toss it in with some water and it's good to go. I can mine in half pints. A pint of lemonade concentrate makes a gallon, but I typically make mine in half gallons. And today I'm going to be doing some plain, some peach, and some pineapple. And they all start off the same way. What I have is four cups of lemon juice. And I am going to bring this up just till it starts to steam. I don't want it to boil. So I'm going to get it started. And it'll take it a few minutes to come up to temperature. And again, I don't want it to boil. So I'm going to set it over medium heat and I'm going to let it come up to a steam. And once it comes up to a steam, just before it starts to simmer, when it starts to just bubble around the edge just a tiny bit, I'm going to add my sugar. And what I have is two and a half cups of sugar. You can make it sweeter or less sweet to suit your taste. And once I put the sugar in, I'm going to stir it over the heat until it dissolves. And at that point, your, constant, your lemonade concentrate is made. You put it in your jars and you process, process them in a water bath canner. Now, when I get to the point that the sugar is dissolved, I'm going to take two cups of it out and I'm going to separate it. I'm going to go ahead and can up my regular and then I'm going to do a pineapple and a peach. Now, while this is coming up to a steam, I'm going to go ahead and get my pineapple started. So what I have here is a little over a cup, right at a cup of pureed pineapple. And I just pureed it with the blender. So I'm going to go ahead and get it started coming up to temperature as well. but I'm going to put it on low so that it goes a little slower. And again, I don't want it to boil. I just want it to get good and hot. is just starting to have a wisps of steam come off of it. So now I'm going to add my sugar and then I'm going to stir it for a minute or so just to make sure that all the sugar is dissolved. So that feels like all of the sugar has dissolved. So I am going to take out a cup of it to start with. And I'm going to add that to my pineapple. Then I'm going to take another cup out and 
put it to the side for a minute because I have peach puree that I'm going to add to this one. Alright, so I'm going to take what's left in the pan and I'm going to put it in the measuring cup just because I need this pan. And you can see all of the sugar has dissolved. So now I'm going to add this cup of lemon concentrate back to the pan. And to that I'm going to add a cup of peach puree. And again, I just pureed this in the blender. And we'll let that sit over low heat and start coming back up to temperature as well. And while those are both over very low heat, I'm going to get some jars out and start filling. So it looks like I'm going to have enough for eight jars, maybe. And until I get some of this out of here, I'm not going to uh, try to pour from the measuring cup. So I want to go to about a quarter inch headspace. Now if you do this in pints, a pint makes a gallon. I have a half gallon pitcher that I use. So I can mine in half pints. Switch over and see if I can pour now. All right, so there is four pints of regular, sorry, four half pints of regular lemonade. So I have just plain white vinegar and a paper towel. And I didn't make too big of a mess, but I'm still going to clean the rims. That one's a little shy, but that's okay. So the rims are cleaned. I'm going to grab my lids. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my lids here. And I'm going to put silver on the regular lemonade. So since I'm putting them all together, I want to be able to tell them apart, which I think I'll be able to, but you know. And then I'm just putting the rings on finger tight. I'm going to put these back in the canner. And then I'm going to attempt all right, so this is steaming, so it looks like it's ready to go. And I'm thinking that I should be able to fill two, potentially a third, but probably just two. Oh, that smells amazing. All right, so not quite two. Let's turn that one off. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these equally, if I can. It's kind of warm. 
All right, so that looks good. And again, I have my paper towel with vinegar. I'm just going to wipe the rims. And this time I'm going to go through my stack of lids and I'm going to find gold lids. So that I can tell them apart when they come out. Rings on fingertip tight. And into the canner. Timing on that was pretty good because the peach is just now Oh, and the vent has kicked on on my microwave because I have steam sitting here under it So I'm sorry for the noise Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it This one has gotten up to where it's steaming so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it in these two jars. I'm going to divide it evenly. Oh, that smells good. paper towel and I'm going to wipe the tops. I'm going to put on lids and rings and into the canner. And I'm going to bring these back up to a boil. And once the canner comes up to a boil, I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. And at 10 minutes, I will shut them off. and I'll let them sit for about five minutes just to cool. And then I usually lift them out of the water and let them sit for another five minutes before I take them out. But when it's time to take them out of the bath, out of the water bath canner, I will bring you guys back and show you how they turned out. All right, so I brought them up to a boil and I let them process for 10 minutes and then I shut them off and I let them sit for about five minutes and then I lifted the rack and they've been sitting for another five minutes and most of them have sealed. They've been happily snapping. So I'm going to get them out. All right now I will let them sit till tomorrow. Tomorrow I will come back and I will take off the rings, check all the seals, I'll wash the jars, label them, and put them in my pantry, and I have them when I want some lemonade. Now, the pineapple lemonade, when I get ready to make it, you can see that it has separated and the pineapple has floated to the top, and that is perfectly normal. The peach has not separated as much, but there is a little bit of separation in it, and then just the plain lemonade. When I get ready to serve it, I'll just shake it up really good before I open the jar. Add it to a two-quart pitcher and fill it with cold water and I have lemonade ready to drink. I really hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel and if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. If you hit the notification bell, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video based on your settings. Y'all, thank you so much for watching today. You have a great day.